around for like a hot, hot minute. So hopefully, because if you guys don't know this, you guys sit when I'm doing this on an arm of a couch. That's where you sit. So just trying to make sure everything's perfect for y'all so you can see me and it's not crooked and lighting's okay. Let's get started, okay? All right. <laughs> Happy day, everybody! Welcome back to my channel, Dante James. I'm, of course, Dante James. And guys, if it is Wednesday and it is noon Eastern Standard Time, then we're here for lunch with Dante. So welcome. So guys, today I have for my lunch, I'm so excited about it. I finally made these granola, her pumpkin spice granola. That is sugar on top of there because I was a little sparse. I'll leave her recipe. I was gonna film me making it yesterday, but I'm gonna leave her recipe and her video down below so you could, I keep looking over here. So you guys could go and watch it. I'll leave it down. She shows you how to make it in her air fryer and in the oven. I did the oven, but here it is. It's just pumpkin spice granola. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm so excited to try it. I did sprinkle, like I said, some sugar on it because in the recipe it calls for, I think one tablespoon of it. And I just kind of didn't do a full tablespoon. So I just added some sugar on it for just just me right now, okay? Okay. So let me put some milk on it. I have my special milk here. Okay, let me just put some. I'm so excited, look at that, uh-huh. Ooh, I'm so excited. I tried a little bit of it yesterday, but I'm so excited to try it with the milk, with the milk. Okay, so let's get a bite here with some of our milk. There it is, here's the first bite. There's the first bite for you, okay? There's the first bite. Mmm, mmm. Gee, this is fabulous. Fabulous, gee. Oh my goodness, that is delicious. I made two batches of it. So now I have it. And I'm gonna make more because I have more pumpkin puree left over. So I'm gonna make it like, I'll probably get two more batches out of it. But wow, this is amazing. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yup, that's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. So easy to make too. I have to say that, very easy to make. Like I said, I'll have her, the link to her two videos that she did down below if you wanna make this very easy. Oh my goodness. I could eat this the morning, noon, or night. Now I get what you're saying when you carry it around with you. This is delicious, oh my gosh. One more, one more, one more. Mmm, 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 mmm. I love it, love it, because I also love oats too. So this is just amazing. Busy weekend. Let me chew first, tell you. That's one thing I'm practicing. That's one thing I'm practicing is eating slower. I'm trying to practice that, which just was so good that I just shoved a whole bunch in my mouth, but I'm trying to practice eating, um, like, slower and not eating so fast. JB is, um, a pretty fast eater. He eats pretty fast, and I'm trying to Ever since I got sick back in like the middle of October, with my stomach, and I was also like sick too. It was just like weird. It was so weird. Ever since I got sick like that, I have been trying, I've been fixing my diet. I've been trying to eat more healthy, try to watch what I'm eating. I've had probably a baked potato every day since last Monday because I just can't get enough of them. I'll like have like one in the morning, not even one. I'll have like half of one in the morning and they'll save the other half for dinner. And JB's like, you're just having half of a baked potato. I was like, yeah, because they're delicious. They're delicious. Do you have your dinner? Okay. Let me eat mine. Okay. But I'm just trying to like watch what I've been eating. I've been trying to like not eat as fast, which is kind of getting me onto the topic, or one of the topics is, oh, one thing I wanna say about this too, is it did, when I was cooking it, she was so right, even JB said it when he walked in. He ran to the store while I was making this and he walked in, he goes, oh my gosh, it, it smells like Thanksgiving in here because of the pumpkin spice and the oats and the nutmeg and the ground clove and the cinnamon and all of that stuff that you put in to make this, it makes the house smell amazing, amazing. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This is good. I found my new breakfast. Love oats. I always have loved oats. I, when I was younger, I loved the um, the oat cereal with the frosted flakes, but there was like clumps of oats in it and it had freeze-dried, or is it freeze-dried? Freeze-dried strawberries in it. That was my favorite. I could eat a bowl of that morning, noon, and night. I mean, I could eat this morning, noon, and night. It's delicious. It's so good. Like I said, with eating slower, watching what I'm eating, you know, my family did have some health problems. So I'm at the age now where I want to start I've enjoyed all the food. I've enjoyed all that. 
And unfortunately now I am still restricted because I am lactose intolerant and I can't have sorbitol, which sorbitol is an artificial sweetener, I can't have it. So I have to check everything as I'm eating it or consuming it. Like anything that, even when I'm in the grocery store, I'm in there a little bit longer now because I always have to look at the back and see what's inside of it, which is also good. That's also a good thing, you should do that. You should, but with that being said is I am going to, for a while, kind of, and it's not, I don't wanna even take this the wrong way, but I'm retiring from challenges. I'm sorry guys, I'm retiring from challenges just for a little bit. I just want to get healthier and I want to start watching what I'm eating, eating slower. And that's one thing with the challenges. A lot of them are times. Like a lot of them you have to like eat it in six seconds and you're shoving it in all this mouth. And it's not good for, it's not good for me at least. And I don't think it's good for anybody, but it's not good for me at least. Like, okay. I don't want to say I'm fully retiring from challenges. Like, I'll still do some of them. Even, like, Shell Eats and Maria's that I did last week. You sat there with your plate. You told a little story. Loved that. That was so fun. I loved that. Those kind of challenges I like. Healthy challenges. It's just, it's hard for me. And for me, personally, I do love the challenges. They are fun. But the eating so fast thing freaks me out. Like, I had this one challenge I was supposed to do. And it's timed. And I was just like, oh, my God. Like, I, I got anxiety over it. And I don't want to get anxiety over supporting somebody else, you know, supporting their channel and all of that. That's not what it's about. But I do want to start, you know, eating slower and enjoying my food, not like shoveling it in my mouth. And I'll still support. That's the thing too. I'll still support. You do it. I'll watch you do a challenge. Do it. And I watch a lot of people do challenges. I'm like, go, go. You know, you could do it. And I love watching people do them. Me personally, I'm just, I, maybe if you want to tag me, tag me. If you don't, that's fine. Maybe I'll just do it on my own. Maybe I'll just do it. I'm just, the fast ones, I'm just, I've been getting scared about them and I don't know why like I've just been getting freaked out about them and I don't know I just I want to start watching what I'm eating and eating healthy and like I said I'm not going to ramble on and on about it but and and you know I have my own challenge out there the happy day the happy day cucumber chopstick challenge I have that out there which I'm still going to do a dedication video to everybody that did it I'm still just I have these videos that I have that need to come out before November so maybe in the beginning of December I'll be putting that out the dedication video I'm not sure yet but I need to put out these two videos this coming weekend I have to put them out before the end of November I'm just gonna put them out this weekend I, they're, I, of course I love all my videos or I wouldn't put them out but these two I need to put them out because if they come out in December they're not gonna make any sense whatsoever so huh this is so good I do have like I think two cooking videos that I want to do in the near future. Uh, two written down. Some more of those will be coming. So I know that you guys really, really enjoy the cooking videos. So I do have two planned that I want to do with y'all. A bunch of videos. You guys, you guys know me, guys. Baby doesn't want to be put in the corner. So I just have a bunch coming out. But definitely some more cooking videos because I know y'all really enjoyed that. So. I've been going through my cookbook and trying to find recipes that I really enjoyed, like making and eating. And there are also recipes that you can freeze what your leftovers. So if you even eat it like two days in a row or whatever, you can freeze the rest, thaw it later, and then enjoy it like in a week or two, which is like fabulous. I love that whole idea. But anyway, I'm doing more cooking videos. I have some other videos coming out that I'm excited about. But with the challenges, I'm just, like I said, like I, I, I actually have like three challenges I still need to do or something I have them written down like I said it's just like the eating fast part freaks me out a little bit like it does because yeah it scares me a little bit especially with like swallowing and getting the food down and I don't know I just I just I had anxiety about it and I think I was like you know what I'm gonna take a break for a little while ride it out if there's a challenge where like you were sitting and eating and you're able to tell a story or any of those kind of challenges I really don't mind doing I really don't but for right now while I'm on my personal journey of trying to eat healthier or watch what I'm eating or how fast I'm eating eating and what times I'm eating. I don't think I'm going to be doing challenges for a while. It's just like big, like portions of food. Sometimes you're like, ugh, like I don't want to eat all that. I don't want to eat all that and make myself like, like full. And like, what do you want to do the rest of the day? And I just don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to. So like I said, I'm not fully retiring. I'm taking a little break from challenges just for right now, just for right now. But, um, and also that's one thing too, is I haven't, I've been trying to stay at home as as much as possible the numbers are going up I don't want to say it's ugly name but the numbers are going up I'm trying to stay home as much as I could and not be out and about or be out and about when it's unnecessary you know I really only try to go out when we really need something I'm almost like kind of like
like self quarantining again because I'm scared and and you know people are just out running amok and I just I've been just staying home so for me to run out just for like something to do a challenge I don't know just I don't know I've just been staying home a lot like maybe the most I'll go to is my P.O. box and maybe run to the store. But when I run to the store, y'all, I'm in and out. I'm in and out. I'm not going in there and dilly-dallying. Like, I do have to run out for something at some point, but I'm literally going in and I'm leaving. Like, I need to run there and I need to get this thing and I'm just literally running in, getting out. And that's it. That's it. Stop at the P.O. box on my way home, get my button here, wash my hands, do all that. I have all the hand sanitizers on my bag, in my bag, in my car. You know, I'm just, I don't want to be out if it's unnecessary. Not like that it really has anything to do with challenges, but just saying, like, I don't want to be out if I really don't have to be, should I say. That's what I'm going to say. But yes, I have cooking videos coming out. I'm going to do the cucumber dedication video. Um... But yeah, I love that you guys are liking all of my stuff lately. That's a lot of fun. I love commenting back to y'all. And I really want to do, and I'm, I've done them before, and Shell Eats is actually doing one, but I would love to do another questions video where, like, you guys, because she's doing one, and I was like, you know what? I have not done one in maybe close to a year. I want to say maybe close to a year where there, or it wasn't, like, a questions challenge. It was, like, you guys ask me questions, and then I answer them. So, oh, and Ash Lapino Jalapeno is doing that, too, which I think is really cool. So maybe I'll give them, I don't know, I'll put it out at some point. I'll, like, in a video, I'll say, oh, down below, leave your question for me, and I'll answer them in a future video. Maybe Maybe I'll do like a get ready with me and answer your questions or do something and answer your questions. And I just think that'd be really fun. But yeah, they're doing it. I can't wait to see theirs. I'm so excited. I am so excited to see their videos. But guys, that's all I have for today. Um, We had a busy weekend. It's cold here now. It was warm. Like it was like the perfect temperature for so many days. And now a cold front came in from Canada. It's been pretty chilly here, but a warm up supposed to come again. So I'm so excited for that. I'm like, oh, I hope this is a sign of a mild winter. Like I hope it's a mild winter. I'm hoping for it but as I'm not much of a winter person so don't really like it but I'm loving the weather that we have been having so um other than that like I said I mean you guys are gonna see this and stay safe wherever you are and you know do what you can to you know I watched my auntie ginger snap 44's video the other day and it broke my heart because our hospital workers they are very stressed they're very they're overworked you know and it's just when I saw her almost cry in her video I wanted to cry so like she said in her video if there's anything you could do to keep the numbers down do it maybe don't go to a bar maybe don't go to a restaurant maybe stay home and learn how to cook and maybe you know don't stay in a grocery store or somewhere where it's a little too long or anything like that you know it's winter now and I don't want to you know I don't know so I'm doing my part I'm, I'm lucky to do my part I don't want it and I don't want anybody of any of my loved ones to get it should I say but guys I'm gonna get out of here because I'm gonna have to edit this let's take one more bite and D thank you for this recipe again they will be linked below this was delicious look at that mmm mmm and it's even better after it's been soaking in the milk oh my god Mm. And like I said, guys, with the whole me like taking a break from challenges, I'm just taking a break from challenges, from me doing challenges. Like I said, I'm still going to support you and watch you and cheer you on and watch you do your challenge. But just for me, I just need a little break. You know, I, like I said. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me for lunch today. If you would, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Even though I'm the worst commenter backer in the whole entire world, I do try. Ring that bell when you do. You'll be notified every time I upload new content. And guys, I love you this from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do. Thank you for all your love, your support, everything. You guys are so freaking great. I just love you. So, uh, until next time, you bye-bye. <laughs>